Hello everyone. Today's shave is gonna be special for me because for more than a year I've been trying to get uh, stuff from this brand. As you guys can see there, uh, I'm talking about Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and it's gonna be all Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements today. I had one thing before which I still have there and it was actually by mistake. I have the cube, the mentholated one. The one I really wanted was the normal which I have there now. I'm gonna show all the stuff unbox and then we'll start the shave. The razor we're gonna use is gonna be El Fantasma. The brush is gonna be the, per the, the Peregrino. The blades are gonna be Phoenix Artisan as well. The Platinum Strangelet. Hard to say this name. There you go. That's the ones we're gonna use. We're gonna open up the original cube for the first time. And the set of soap and splash is gonna be Awesome Sauce. I only got this because of the name Awesome Sauce. I, I found it really funny. When I put the unboxing on Instagram, I had a few people telling me straight away that this was um, an improvement on Porasso. So I already have an idea that it might be something fresh. So this is probably the first soap that I go that I have already uh, something on my mind and I, I want to be honest about it but that's because I put it on Instagram and I had someone already saying this is a, an improvement on Porasso so we'll find out anyway and the splash that's all that we're gonna use today Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements so let's start I'll probably start by the razor and get the razor ready with the blade and then we'll open up the the brush I'll have to wash the brush first so this will gonna take a bit of time today so we'll see let's unbox Elephant Epic Open Comb Double Slant Safety Razor. There you go. This is the one I think it glows on the on the on the dark. Really, Jesus Christ! This is really really pronounced slant. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from this, but we'll find out. Really really pronounced. Let's put that. The only thing it comes with is a leaflet, which I don't know. I'll leave the box there for now. Let's see what the leaflet says. Oh, it's just instructions on how to use the 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 razor. Yeah, just instructions on how to use the razor. So that's it. There's no blade. There's nothing inside it's just the razor itself so let's go on to the blades now and load up the blades on the on the razor There you go, double wrapped, so nice. Just leave the thing here and let's get the razor and load up the blade on the razor Now, I have to say, this is a really pronounced slant. Wow. There's a bit of overhanging there. So careful. Actually, a bit. A lot of overhanging there. Really, really pronounced slant. slant. So let's see how this shaves afterwards. Let's put it there on the back. And now let's go for the brush. Really big. Wow, this is a really big, big, big handle. Nice. I didn't know. There's a, a wrapping there inside. That's about it. Love the collar as well. Really, really nice. Pretty hefty handle. Yeah, looks very soft. It's a synthetic knot. Looks very, 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 very soft, I have to say. So what we're going to do is wash and then get every, everything ready and soaking in there. I'm going to wash it first. As you guys know, always wash your brushes before you use. Synthetics only once and it can be on the day. No bother but natural please do two three then you can use it on the following day so that's what we're gonna do synthetic we're gonna wash it now and I'll see you back in a bit we're back so I washed the brush dried it out and now we're gonna put it to soak and get ready for the for the shave and then we will go through the rest of the stuff so here we go there you go is there soaking up now pre-shave the cube let's go and open up this is the original the cube so not the mentholated the original one There you go, just wrap like the, the mental light it was. Let's put the boxes there on the back. I'm just gonna get something ready to put the cube in. So let's go, let's keep unwrapping.
There you go. Pretty, pretty slick already on my hands. My God. Whoa, whoa, don't fall. Yeah, look at this. Just wash my hands before we open all the stuff. Before we open, I'm gonna wash up my face, do the pre-shave, and then we'll open and, uh, and see what we're working with with the set. There we go. Now, just get the cube again and let's go. There you go. Pre-shave is done. Washed up my hand already. Let's dry it up there. Let's open up Awesome Sauce by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Oh yeah. Open up my nostrils straight away. Mental. Ooh, my eyes. Yeah, it gave me the same sensation it gave me with the mentholated cube. Whew. Yeah, mental. Ooh, I'm gonna enjoy this one. I love me some mentholated. Yeah, brighten up, start the day. Really, really. Yeah, ooh, my nostrils are completely open. Nice, nice. Here we go. I'm just gonna put the lid there on the back and we're gonna start the shave. They said an improvement on Parasso. Jeez, this is way stronger than Parasso in terms of um, in terms of the scent. In terms, of the, just completely open up my nostrils. Whew. If I'm with the cold, I know what I'm gonna smell. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Let's go. Let's get the brush and start this shave. There we go, I have to say one thing straight away. Be careful, it's actually pretty soft. So probably I overload it again, which means I'm gonna have to put a lot of water probably. So let's just wash this and then do the leather. There you go, washed. Let's put it there on the back, drying up. There we go, let's leather up. There we go, man, look at this. Uh, uh, when I said I overload it, I wasn't joking. I don't know how much water I put into this. A lot of water. That's how it goes when you're trying something for the first time. My God. Do you want tense ladder? Try this. Try this. Jesus. I know I can put way more water. I'm actually gonna put more water. This is... I... Look. Wow. It's just incredible. I just soaked it all in, in into water and it, it just keeps forming, keeps forming like, look at this. Incredible. Yeah, now I understand the rave about CK6 by PAA that everyone was raving about. Look, crazy. Man, the amount of water you can put is just incredible. Uh, I'm not gonna keep going otherwise I'll be here the whole morning. It's just incredible. I'm gonna tidy up a bit now because there's leather all over. There we go. I tidy up a bit. Even had leather on the on the mic. Just all over the place. So let's go into the El Fantasma and let's start the shave and see how this one performs. Today is gonna be first for everything. Here we go. El Fantasma with uh, what's the name? I always forget. Doesn't say. With uh, let's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Platinum Strangelet. Strangelet. Super sharp. They say. I'm gonna leave it there. So here we go. I'm gonna say, first of all, the soup is very, very slick. This is aggressive, but it's not that aggressive. How can I explain? You feel the blade, but it's actually smooth, a smooth shaver. It's just awkward in one way. It's very light, and it's probably the lightest razor I ever tried. I'm just gonna try and take the leather, because the leather is really dense. I should have put in even more water. That's how much I overloaded. But um, yeah, it feels awkward, because it's very, very light, but it shaves very smoothly, I have to say. Nice. Let's keep going with the shave. There we go. First pass done. I have to say, like, I definitely overloaded. I needed a lot more water. Very, very dense the leather. But even like that, the shave was just good. Really, really nice. Smooth, smooth shaver. A bit awkward in the beginning because it's very, very light and I'm used to a bit of a heftiness there. It's just smooth. And this, so, my God. Scent-wise, I'm gonna be honest, is I just feel the mental. Yeah, I understand why people say it's uh, an improvement or an improved process. 
Parasso. Um, but I feel it's different than Parasso, to tell you the truth. I wouldn't even put it on the on the same category, like, because this is mental, proper, mental, like, just crazy. And, and this leather, oh my god. Definitely next time, I'm gonna do just a few small swirls. I'm not gonna load like normally I do, because you can put so much water and it produces so much leather. It's just incredible. So let's go. I'm just gonna get ready for a second pass and I'm gonna probably add even more water and try to put the leather a bit more uh, uh, runny because it's very very dense at the moment I should have put in even more water but I, guys I added loads of water loads and it just didn't stop let's keep going I'm gonna get ready for a second pass there we go let's go back to the brush there's leather falling all over still I'm gonna paint this a bit and then I'm gonna add more water to take a bit of that density because it's really really dense let's go There you go, load it up again, load it up, no, leather it up again, and uh, wow, just wow, keeps falling all over, keeps farming, just incredible, incredible. So let's go across with El Fantasma, I have a few nicks there on the bottom, and a few nicks here, and it's my fault because this is so light, it's just feeling awkward at the moment, but it's very, very smooth, I didn't even feel the nicks at all, but uh, let's go across. There we go, second pass is done. One thing I have to say as well, because there's some grooves here, it leaves a lot of leather on the face still, besides this being already an excellent leather. I'm really feeling awkward with this uh, with this razor. Really awkward, because it's so small. Um, because it's so light, it's not the, the, the question of being small, because it's so, so light. Because actually, the form of it feels like the Fatip, the Storzo open comb uh, I have, but it's so light, like, and actually, the slant is way way more pronounced as well so it is smooth that, that that's what's confusing in my head because it's very smooth uh, shaver but because it's so light it's hard uh, I'm, I didn't got the hang of it yet you know so that's it that's our shave done a few nicks as you guys can see especially there on the bottom because I don't know how much strength and how to work with this one yet I'll have to give it a few more tries and I can talk about the blade itself either because it's all new so I'd have to go with the blade on another razor that I know well and I have to use a blade that I know well with this razor to see differently but there you go that's how it is when you're trying new stuff it doesn't work always well like you know and it's not bad don't tell don't, don't get it wrong I just have to get the hang of it so let's take this off and see what we have left on the brush there we go Let's get the brush and see what we have left, which I know for a fact there's at least three to four passes here. Easy, easy enough. Let's go. There we go. Jesus Christ. The amount of leather, guys. It's just crazy. Look at this. Just leather all over. The other thing, I have a few nicks and I'm feeling it because of the mental. Around here, especially. Yeah. Leather-wise, this is just exceptional. Exceptional. This is like, um, how can I explain? This is like, um, if I want to wake up, I have my nostrils block or something, definitely. Use that PAA cube, the mentholated, and this awesome sauce. You'll be waking up and completely opens your nostrils straight away. This is a, a mental shave kind of that way really really nice this leather is incredible guys incredible well let's take this off and then I normally use witch hazel but mm, no, I'm gonna use witch hazel especially because I have a few nicks and stuff so we'll take this off and then we'll go for the witch hazel There we go. Took all the leather. Took me a while to take the leather off, I have to say. Let's just pet the face now. There we go. F my my face is just feeling fresh as an easy. And the other thing as well. Guys, you saw I had a few nicks. All the nicks are kind of gone. Just from the leather. And I would say because it has that mental. It just uh, closes it up. That's what I think it is. I'm not completely sure. So let's go. Witch Hazel. Here we go. Lovely. 
just lovely. I was expecting a lot of feedback because of all the nicks. No, actually not. And I'm gonna say it again. I'm, I think it might be because of that mental it is closing up. The pores, I think, I'm not sure, but that's what I feel like it. Um, so no feedback at all. And you guys can see it's not bleeding anymore. So really, really nice, I have to say. Really, really nice. And it just wakes you up. A lovely shave to wake you up. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like this would be perfect for hot days in summer, but I'm gonna use this during the winter as well and I'm feeling a bit down in the morning. This will brighten you up straight away. So let's go. I'm gonna wash all my stuff and I see you back for the post shave and the conclusions. See us in a bit. We're back. I washed all my stuff and before I go for the post shave, I have a few things to address. It was so much leather. Then when I went to clean up the brush, it took me ages. I had loads of leather on the backbone there. Water and more water and more water to take it out. It took me a while to clean up this brush. I definitely overloaded today. So next time I'll know just small bit that I don't need to load up like the, I did the last time. A load of leather. Yeah, you guys have no idea how much leather was still there. Just insane. So let's go. Post shave. Awesome sauce. The splash. There we go. Let's open it up. There's some seal there. Let's take it off. Wow, a lot of feedback guys, Woo. made me cry, Woo. a lot of feedback, the mental, and I have the mix there, gee, this is one of those McCulky Culkin kind of reactions, ah! that's what it is, Woo. oh god, Woo. definitely, you want to be waking up, use this awesome sauce, oh god, if you like mental, look, I'm still crying, <laughs> god, Woo. Wow, my face is like, it's like everything over sensory kind of that way. Whew. So let's go, let's recap this shave. Oh, I'm not, gee. Oh, but the, ah, yeah. the skin is feeling gorgeous, guys, I have to say. Oh, now it's settling down. Yeah, now you're feeling that freshness. So let's recap. Today was all Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement, except for the Witch Hazel, which is boots with tea tree oil. Otherwise, everything was PAA. We started with the cube, the original one, not the mentholated one. So you guys know I got you mentholated by mistake. This is the one I wanted. Performance-wise, you guys know exactly Exactly, is an excellent pre-shave. Excellent. Load of sneakness. Jeez, my eyes are still woo, watering there. Woo. Then we used, and I'm gonna talk about the thing that I still can't explain properly, which is El Fantasma and the PAA Strangelet, pl Platinum Strangelet, Jesus Christ, hard to say, uh, blade. I'm not gonna be, this is just first impressions, so I'm gonna have to use both of them more often and then I'll be able to give a final conclusion. At the moment, like, the blade feels fine, fine. I'm um, not gonna be able to tell you if it's very sharp or not, because I was using a new razor as well that I don't know how it performs. One thing I have to say about the razor, it was a bit awkward for me because it's so light. And the other thing as well, and that I don't like, and you guys know I don't like, is the overhanging. This overhanging is a bit pronounced, so you have to be a bit careful with the overhanging. The thing I'm gonna say that I noticed straight away is it cuts smoothly, it's very, very smooth. I have to get the hang of it because it's so light. I'm gonna have to use this a few more times to actually give a final conclusion of it. It's a really nice razor, I have to say. Different plastic. I know it glides in the dark, but I'm not gonna turn off all my lights now because I have a few here. It does, might be able to show like this, hopefully. Hopefully it did, if it didn't, sorry. I don't know what else to say about it. I have to try it a few more times. Feels fine. Then we got the Peregrino by PAA, the brush. Synthetic knot. It's a soft knot, I have to say. Pretty, pretty soft. Not that much backbone. Um, so if you like really soft knots, definitely. Um, the thing as well, it doesn't retain that much water. That's probably one of uh, another reason why it was a bit pasty in the beginning as well, because you guys know I like to have a bit of water there when I start lathering. But I have to 
to say this handle, a hefty handle, really, really nice. I love the color of it. And you have the name there on the back. The handle is just exquisite. Like I have to say really, really nice handle, really nice. Then let's go for the soap. There you go, used for the first time. It's pretty soft, which I wasn't expecting that. So when I load it up and I already have loads there on my finger, let me just clean the finger there. When I load it up, I was expecting to be a bit harder. I should have tested first and I didn't, there you go. So I definitely overload it I, whew, because the pastiness in the beginning and then the amount of water that I added, I, you guys have no idea, it was so much water. I dipped the, the, the brush in water, like completely soaked in water and came to my face and it was still getting pasty. But um, scent wise, mental. That's the only thing I could get is mental. Um, yeah, if you like mental stuff, that's my, my, my impressions. I don't know if it has more stuff, but I couldn't get more stuff. It was just mental. Um, <laughs> Mental, definitely. Double entendre there. But awesome sauce, yeah, really nice. I'm definitely gonna use it more often because I like, like stuff like this freshness. Wakes you up in the morning. Some mornings you definitely need that. Leather-wise, it's just incredible, guys. In Incredible. I'm gonna leave it there still drying a bit. It's just one of those leathers that it gives you really good consistent, a lot of protection, a lot of slickness. Yeah, and my skin is feeling lovely, lovely. Yeah, nice. Now, splash. Let's go on the splash. <sighs> If you want to wake up, I'm going to say it again. I thought the soap was already, and the pre-shave was already a lot. This takes it to another level. Man, I'm still kind of watering on the eyes from this splash. My face is still feeling really, really, really fresh. Like, it's in, it's in, just incredible. It's, it's like a shock to the system when you put it the first time. <laughs> What's this? And nice. You get that feedback of the alcohol straight away and nice. Now, scent wise, I don't feel much. I don't know if it's the alcohol and the menthol all together, but that's the only thing I felt during this shave. In terms of scents, I'm definitely gonna have to get other sets from a PAA, get a sense of how Doug does his scents because with this one, it's impossible for me. It's just mental on every level, mental. Man, I had a, an excellent shave. I had a, a really nice experience. Puts a smile on my face, even with the nicks, even with the, the blade that I knew, I don't know, the razor that I don't know. It's just, I love this. I love new experiences. That was our shave for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like, which helps the channel a lot, pushes on the algorithm. So put a like, it's free. And uh, if you want to help the channel even more, there's my affiliate links down below. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.